Next, you're going to create a five minute YouTube video. Wow, Billy, you got me on TikTok. You got me on link uh, on Instagram. You got me on um, Facebook. You got me on LinkedIn. I don't do social networking. Well, you do now. OK, you do now. And now you're going to create a five minute YouTube video. It's going to be about you, your product and your service. We're going to optimize that video title. We're going to include a strong call to action and you're going to throw it on a Facebook. I mean, uh, throw it on a YouTube channel that you didn't have before, but you're going to get one. Now you're going to get a YouTube channel and you're like, oh, I'm overwhelmed. How can I do that? Well, guys, let me make this real simple for you. I'm going to walk you through the whole process of making the video, how to find your keywords, how to find your key phrases, how to use chat GPT to help you come up with your script. And we're going to use a tool called Pictory.ai to actually help you create the video. We're going to use a tool called Pictory, P-I-C-T-O-R-Y dot A-I, Pictory dot A-I. And you're going to get five to 10 new prospects just from creating this video. So here's how we do it. First and foremost, you got to know what people are looking for that's around your product or service. So what I need for you to do, because I need you guys engaged, I need for you to go into your chat and tell me what type of business you're in, because I want to take something from the chat. So go into your chat and tell me what type of business you are in. And then I'm gonna pick something from there. So let me look and see. Tax business. Okay, Alfred says he's in the tax business. So we're gonna take Alfred since he was the first one. PNC insurance, yes, Chris, I got you. I know you're one of my guys, or at least you were. Hopefully you still are. So we're gonna take Alfred since Alfred is a tax guy. All right, Alfred. So we're gonna produce a five minute video with SEO about taxes, all that. So Alfred, tell me what kind of taxes if you have any specialty taxes, like do you do business taxes, you do regular taxes, you do estate taxes, let me know if you do any kind of specialty tax because that's part of the SEO that we're going to look up over to this. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use Google. Now, I know there's a lot of fancy tools that you can buy, Ahrefs, and I could buy all this other stuff. I'm not going to worry about all that. I'm going to use the simple poor man's way to figure this out. So Alfred said he does taxes. Let's see if he does any, any kind of special taxes. He says business taxes uh, offer offer and compromises. Tax settlements. Okay, so we're going to go tax settlements. Gotcha. Because so I didn't know what the hell uh, offer and compromises were. So now we're going to go over to Google and I'm going to go tax offer. Let's do offer and settlement. I hit my enter. So now what this does is this shows me what's there. So I'm going to use this little drop down how to settle with the irs by yourself offer and compromise calculator offer and compromise irs irs forgiveness program that's what people are looking for now i have another tool on my program that i use called uber suggest u-b-e-r-s-u-g-g-e-s-t and uber suggest actually tells me the volume that people are looking for so when i put in over if i go over to uber suggest it tells me that there's not a lot of people looking for that particular thing. So that could be that could be good or that could be bad. That could be good in that I'm the only one that's going to be putting out videos about this, even though people are really looking for it uh, because I, Google tells me people are looking for it, but they're not looking for it necessarily in my area or whatever else. So, but I can still use it. I don't want to make this complicated at all because you can you can make anything complicated. OK, people online, people on the web, people on the phone, you can make anything complicated. You can overthink anything. The reason why I've been really good at what I do is because I'm not smart. I'm not smart enough to overthink shit. So I just get it done. So I'm going to take this. And the one I like here is how to settle with the IRS by yourself. That's the one I like. How to settle with the IRS by yourself. So I'm going to take this key phrase and I'm going to come over to chat gpt now i'm going to show you i'm going to show you two tools i'm going to show you gemini by google and i'm going to show you chat gpt so i'm going to go into chat gpt and i'm going to ask chat gpt to please write a let's say 250 word video script using the following key phrase i'm putting my quotation marks and then i'm going to paste that in how to settle with the irs by yourself and close quotation marks chat gpt can recognize that that is the key phrase that i wanted to build around and I, you know i'm going to change this to 500 word because i'm probably going to want to cut this into other 
content. So I'm going to say a 500 word video script. Now, this is really important when you're doing video. Please give it to me because you're talking to chat GPT just like you're talking to a friend. Please give it to me in an outline format. Please give it to me in an outline format. Let's see what it gives me. How to settle with the IRS by yourself. Introduction. Open. Hook. Script. Visual. So this is actually telling you the visuals. It's telling you the script. It's telling you all these. Now, it's it's chat GPT. So you never, ever, ever, ever take the first output. Let me stress that. Even though this looks amazing, those of you that have never used chat GPT, you're sitting there going, oh my God, this is absolutely amazing. I'll just copy and paste. Don't do that. Never take the first output that chat GPT gives you. And the reason why is because, you know, it's, it's stealing stuff from other people online a lot of times. So you want to modify it in a way that it's yours. You've made it uniquely yours. Okay. You're going to say thank you because it did work for you. You want to treat it like a person. Thank you. Now, here is my information. Here's, here's my information for my business. Alfred, go ahead and give me your address. Give me the name of your business, your address, uh, city, state, zip, phone number. Give me that inside of the chat box so that I can build it in. Please add my contact information to, please add my contact information and rewrite. Okay, Alfred, I'm waiting on you. Give me your stuff, my man. Need your, the name of your business need your city state zip you can put your phone number in there if that's what you want to but give me that information so that i can build it into this in real time so that people can see how this works and i'm doing it real time because i don't want you guys freaking out i don't want you sitting there going oh no uh, that's he can do it but i could never do that anybody can do this this is why i'm doing it real time for you thank you now here's my information for my business please add my contact information and rewrite now you didn't give me a phone number so if somebody's online, however, we got like 400 folks online and uh, they see you're in Sugarland. If they wanted taxes, dude, you didn't even give me any contact information. Again, no phone numbers, but we're going to end it because I, I want to get going. So I ask it to please rewrite it. So now what is it doing? It's going to take that information and it's going to personalize it. Chat GPT is free, by the way, guys. It's free. This is awesome. I love it. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it on a Word document this script by itself because it's giving me all the visuals it's giving me the prompts it's giving me everything but that's also going to make it more difficult for me to make a video so i'm going to do this also i'm going to go back out to chat gpt i'm going to say thank you this is awesome however the video tool i use only wants script not the prompts for visual, visuals, and yeah, not the prompt for visuals. Please rewrite this and only give me the script in outline format, in outline format, not the headings or prompts. Now it's rewriting it. Because again, you're gonna see in a second when I put this into the tool, Pictory.ai, it only wants the scripts. In fact, I gotta get rid of these timelines. So I'm gonna tell it one more time. This was amazing. Please remove all timestamps so that I am only left with script. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Now, I wanted that first one that had all the visuals and the prompts and all that, because that tells me if I wanted to go in and be more creative with this video, what I needed. Like it, it told me, oh, you should have a person standing right here. You should have this. So I really, really like that. But I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to my document where I saved the first one. Control enter. So I have a whole new page. And now I'm just going to put my script. Now, obviously, I want to get rid of stuff that I don't need. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to get rid of these two little things here first. And the way I do is just replace. Now, if you don't have replace on your ribbon, then that means you're going to need to go under your file. And over here, it's going to ask you to go into your settings and all that kind of stuff. But replace is something I use on a regular basis. So I, I, I have it on my ribbon. 
So I'm going to replace all. They replaced 134 of those, just like that. It's gone. Now I'm going to come over and I'm going to replace this with a space. So I'm going to do Control C. That copies it. I'll do this. And all I do is make sure that my cursor is all the way over here on the replace with. I'm replacing it with space. Replace with. Okay, they replaced 10 of those. Let's close. Let's see if there's any other stuff out here that I don't want or that could interfere with something. Uh, the quotation marks are fine. That's all good. That's all good. That's all good. Script looks good. Yep, love it. Okay, so I'm good to go there on my script. How to settle. The title is How to Settle with Ours by Yourself. So now I'm going to take all this. Alfred, are you watching? Because this is, I'm doing this for you. Take all of that. I don't need the end of script there because that would show up. Go control C. I'm going to go over to a tool called Pictory.ai. Don't worry, I'm going to put the link inside of this, uh, inside the chat for everybody. Pictory.ai. So do, do you guys see now why we're doing this? We're doing one thing per day. I'm not asking you to do 10 different things. I'm, not, I'm just saying day one, do this. Day two, do this. Day three, do this. Day four, do this. So we're on day five. Nothing that I'm asking you to do will take longer than an hour and a half. I, I do this all the time. OK, and I have people who don't know what they're doing. Do it all the time. <laughs> OK, and nothing that I'm asking you to do takes longer than an hour and a half. Unless you just are one of those people, you overthink stuff unless you're a perfectionist. First and foremost, perfection is the enemy of success. Please remember that perfection is the enemy of success. So if you're one of those people, you just make everything 10 times more complicated than it needs to be, then that's just on you. There's nothing that we can do about that. That's just how you are. People go, well, I just want it right. Well, you know what? I just want it to be effective. And sometimes getting it right isn't even effective. I want it to be effective. That's what I'm most concerned with. All right. So now we're going to do login. I'm, I'm going to log into my Pictory account. So once you're inside of Pictory, I'm going to go where it says script to video. You could do an article to video. You could edit a current video, all that kind of stuff. But I'm going to do script to video. I'm going to go proceed. And I'm going to go control V because I'm pasting it all in. Remember, I only wanted the script part. This is why I needed it in these little blocks. You'll see here in a second because each one of these becomes a, a video. We're just going to go proceed. Again, this is Pictory.ai. So I'm going to go proceed. And what Pictory is doing right now is it's going out into its library. It's trying to match images and videos with the script that I gave it. Now, of course, we can go in and modify those videos, modify those pictures, do all that. But it's trying to match the script that I put in, the chat GPT that I, I modified four or five times. So I individualized it. It's putting it in here and it's creating a video for me. All right. While that's happening, um, I'm going to go out and I'm going to pull up this link for Pictory. Creating an agency introduction video. This is inside the video library members for those of you that are looking for this. Uh, where's that Pictory link? There we go. Because I have my own little affiliate link for it and I'm going to put it into the chat and we'll send it to the entire audience. So there you go. You guys, that's my that's my affiliate link. I love it. OK, it's, it's still working. It's almost there. It's almost there. It's creating the scenes right now. So what it did, it analyzed all of the script that was there and now it's creating the scenes for the different sentences that were there. And now it created a video. Dealing with the IRS can be intimidating. But did you know you can settle with them yourself? You don't always need expensive professionals. Let's walk you through how you can handle it on your own. Today, we'll cover understanding. Now, this is an actual video, guys. This is not just a bunch of slides. If I were to play this, this is an actual video. Now, maybe I don't like this particular scene, or maybe I didn't like the first scene. So let's go back. I didn't like this first scene because it, it was too playful. I needed it to be more serious. So I'm going to go over to visuals, and in visuals, I'm going to go, I like this scene better. So I just click here and it replaces this. Dealing with the IRS can be intimidating. Now let's see what that looks like. And then I can come back over here. Let's walk you how you handle it on your own. So again, I'm showing you this because I'm asking you to make a five minute video on YouTube. That's where we were. I don't want you guys to get lost to where we're at. I ask you to make a five minute video on YouTube. But a lot of you are like, well, I don't know how to make a video. Uh, do, what, do I get a camera? Do I go get a crew? Do I get a whatever? So the thing about it is, let's say you did get a camera crew and you recorded yourself sitting at your desk. 
but you wanted these other videos in around it so that it looked more professional. Well, now you just go to my uploads and you load in your own video. That's like right here. You see, I've got stuff loaded in for me and what I do. So maybe I want to change this and I go, you know what? Let's make that fix my insurance agency. Let's walk you through how you can handle it. So now I've got my own video right here. And again, this could be of me sitting at my desk or this could be like my script right here, but this is an easy way to do this. This was just a quick excerpt from the three hour, 100 new customers in 60 days web workshop that we provide. If you're interested in finding out more or you want more of these short excerpts, go to inspireanation.org. That's www.inspireanation.org. Thanks guys. Appreciate your time.